The Excel forecast sheet allows you to quickly analyze your data set with only a few clicks and this feature has been available since Excel 2016. The only two pieces of information you need is the sequential date and the data that you're analyzing. And the other requirement is that your date interval needs to be consistent. Let's go ahead and do a forecasting for our opening numbers for this stock's price here. Let's go all the way to the top here and then go to data on the forecast as forecast sheet. Click on it and this pop-up window will appear. The blue lines are your actual line itself and the orange lines are your forecasted line. If you don't like lines, you can actually draw a bar chart. I'm going to stick to mine as a line chart. And then the uh, you can see that the thicker line is your actual forecast line at the confidence interval of 95%, which is a default value. And the thinner lines are the upper confidence bound and the lower confidence bound. Now you can make some changes to your configuration of your forecasting here. This is your end forecast date, which is your very last date on your orange line here. And this the start forecast is right at the dot where your orange line starts. And you can actually reduce the confidence and you can see the impact of this reduction. You can see that your funnel shape of your forecast tends to get narrower and narrower. Now you can export this data into another sheet by clicking on create which is gonna create a brand new sheet for you here. And you can see that even the trend is here for you to analyze. You can see that the it does have a three extra columns. If you scroll down, you can see that the new three columns that they have uh, in, inserted in your worksheet here has been calculated using the forecast ETS function.